How's it going guys and welcome back to Main Assembly. Today we're going to be building a basic car. So, some simple building techniques. I'll explain what I'm doing as I'm doing, the keyboard shortcuts that I'm using as I'm doing it. So, we're just going to hit B to start building. Ooh, wonder what that is. Can't show you that just yet. It's not done. So, we're going to come in here, up here to bots. I'm going to hit was B to go into build mode and then tab to open up your catalog here. We are going to start a new bot. We are just going to start with a small box. We are going to click create and it is loaded in. Now we're using WASD as our camera controls to zip around. We're using spacebar to go up and the letter C on your keyboard to go down. So there's your controls to get around your box. Now I've found for me the simplest way to build with these is to use your extrudes and, uh, and connecting your lines together and filling in your plates. These are your frames. These are your plates. These are your points. All can be edited. So we're just gonna build a simple car. So we're just gonna start by, let's extrude the back out. So we're gonna put the pointer over top of the back here. I'm gonna hold left control, drag it out. Also, I can see that my grid is on the uh, fairly big size. So while I'm holding that, I'm just going to click the minus sign on my keypad to change the grid size. So we'll just bring that out. It doesn't really matter. It does tell you if you hover your pointer over top of any of these points, it'll tell you the length, 30 centimeters exactly, the size, the support, the mass of it, the weight, what it's made out of. And it'll do that for any frame so that if you want to match the front back, the same length you can totally just check that length and then drag this plate here out again with a left control drag this out roughly the same distance I'm not too worried about symmetry or making it look the same we're just building a simple car so once we have that extended out like that obviously it's way too skinny so we can just extend these out we'll extend our center out again left control drag that out we'll say like that now, if we wanted to, we could put our wheels in here and use this like a wheel well. So let's just extrude the back out a little bit more here. Again, left control, extrude that out a bit. We'll extrude the front out a bit, look the same. And now we've got these panels here that we can extrude out. Ta -da! And again, this is a super simple version of how to do this. Simple techniques. You can uh, take these uh, ideas and, and run with it. So if we want to move this middle one in a little bit, see how it's sticking out a little bit further. All we need to do is left click on this surface and we can move this whole surface in. We'll move it in one more. Still out a little further. Well, it's lined up with the one in front. This one here is out, so we'll grab this surface. Bring that out a little bit more. So they're all about the same, which they don't have to be. It's just uh, my being nitpicky. So once we have something like this, we can extrude. Now we don't have to extrude an entire face. We can extrude just one of these frames. So say we want to bring a piece up and curved over top. That's eventually going to connect to this point and to this point. Or if we wanted to, we could just connect those two points and create a plate in between all of these. So we'll go over here. We'll hover over this point, left shift, click on it, still holding left shift click on it you get this little blue bar in between click on that boom now there's no plate in here it's just a wireframe so if you wanted to create a plate in between there same thing we'll just click on this frame over here hold left shift click over here we'll hold still holding left shift click you get this plate bang filled in so now we want to start putting some arches in here to make that like a wheel well so the simpler way to do that is simply to hover over top of one of your frames, Alt, hold down Alt, you'll get this little bubble here, Shazam. So we'll just bring that up like that, and again it only does this frame, but we can reach into this frame here, grab this one, we can extend that one up as well. Now again these frames can be moved individually. This frame will move all the points connected to it or anything connected to it. So we'll do the same thing on the back side here. And we'll use a, a different method. Well, again, we'll use the same thing. We'll do shift and shift, create like that. Then we'll click shift and shift, create a plate there. 
Alt. Drag these up. Alt. Drag these up as well. Alright, so we got some wheel wells, so let's put some wheels in there. So, if we hit tab, we can go into our catalog here. Go into our list. We want to go to our motors. Now, the simplest way to start is with these ones here that already have steering and power connected to them. So, we'll start with, say, a medium, medium drive motor. So, we'll start with the front here. Now, we can place these anywhere we want. As you can see, it doesn't really matter. There's no connection points. So, we want to try and place this. So, that the center there where the wheel is going to be connected is going to be centered in the wheel well. And we don't want it too high or too low, so we'll say about there. Now, mirror mode should be by default turned on, so it'll create one on the other side as well. So that'll be the front, and then we'll put on the back. I normally start by putting the front pieces on first, because that's where it tends to put the steering. If you put the back wheels on first, you'll find you have steering in the back. Which, if you want steering in the back, that's a good thing. If you want a normal vehicle, you'll probably want to put your wheels on the front first. So, let's put some wheels on. So again, we'll go back into tab, close up our motors tab here, we'll go into wheels, and let's take some medium wheels. So what do we want for medium wheels? Let's go with, uh, let's go with some white walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully these are big enough. So, we'll attach that there, attach that there. Just barely enough. So, now let's build this into the world just to test it to make sure our steering is on the front. So to do that, We'll simply hit the enter button. That will print it into the world. And as you can see, my steering is in the front, but when I push W, it's going forward. Or it's going backwards, sorry. Which, okay, that's not right. So, how are we going to fix that? So we'll hit B to go into build mode again. And again, you don't have to go into build mode, you can just hit P for programming. So here we have our power, so S and W. Now we can switch S and W here. We can go W and S. And again, right click anywhere in here. Right click again, takes you right back. Hit enter, build that into the world. And let's see if just switching our keys. Yep, now we have W is forward. And we're zipping along in our little car. So that's how easy it is to build a simple car. As far as steering, motors, they're all built into one. So now if we want to add a little bit of flair, a little bit of style to this thing, we'll hit B again to go into build mode. So let's give ourselves a little bit of a rounded bumper front end here. So to do that, we want to bring these rods or these frames here in a little. So we'll just select these frames, bring those in a little. Now everything is still squared off, but that's alright because we can round things by using our alt on these frames. Round that slightly, round the bottom one slightly. Yoast like that. A little bit of curves. We'll maybe do just a little bit on the back side as well. So we'll just bring these in with a normal left click, drag them in just a little bit, and just a little bit of curve on these. Like that. I found that too with the curves like this when you grab this point. Stretch it a little bit past where you want to go and then bring it back in to where you want to position it. It doesn't seem to want to move in the fine increments when you're just slowly moving your mouse. So just drag it out and then uh, and then drag it back into the position that you want it in. I find that's a lot quicker. So if we want to make our front end a little bit more sloped or maybe even down a little bit further, well, if that's our bumper, we don't want to bring that down too far. So let's grab this middle. Let's see, how do we want to put our cab on here? <laughs> so, first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this bar down here in the middle. We're going to drag this out forward. Again, we're going to use C to drop down. We'll make sure that that's level. And it is sitting fairly level. It could go even up a little bit. That's all right. We'll keep it like that. And then we're going to grab just this control point here and drag this out a little. Kind of give us a little bit more of an arc, and then we'll add a little bit of curvature on there so we've got a bit of a spoiler on the front so now we can curve these out as well so that they're not looking so straight and you can also move this curve up and down the line so you can get uh, an angled curve at a certain point in your line rather than just an average curve from the top to the bottom point so these ones here we want to curve these ones a little bit as well 
but because they're at the angle, we want to just go with a slight, slight curve this way and then look at it from the front. Actually, the front's not actually too bad. We might just grab this point and move it out just a little bit. So we kind of have a nice skirt around the front like that. All right, so now we can grab this middle one here in the frame. We basically want to try and bring this front end nice and even up here, and then we'll build our cab. So we'll grab this and bring that up, about like that, just a wee bit. Now we can add a wee bit of curvature on these puppies as well. Just a tiny, tiny bit, not too much. Like that. Now it's looking a wee bit more sports car like from the front. So now here we're going to add some new parts. So we're going to simply select one of these frames and we're going to hold left control, drag straight up. Now when you're extruding pieces, it'll automatically fill in the frames for you. Whereas if you're extruding a single point like this and hold left shift or left control, sorry, drag that out, it'll create just a single frame if you want to build a wireframe or you can use those frames as individual building pieces themselves. The easiest way to delete pieces is to delete the points. So if I delete this point, it'll automatically delete this line with it rather than deleting individual pieces, especially if there's a face on there or a plate. So we just hit the delete key on there while we've got our mouse over that, that gets rid of that. You can delete as well by holding down the right mouse button, but I wouldn't get handy or used to using that. I don't use it because I use the right mouse button for other things in other games and I'm gonna end up coming back in here and deleting stuff and not even knowing it, <laughs> of course. So we're gonna start with our cab. So we've got this here. We can move these rails here at the bottom. We can move this out to make this a little wider without affecting the outside appearance of the vehicle. So once we have these, we can grab our top rail here, extend this out, keep it sloped in just a wee bit. So now we have to decide on how we're going to fill in our parts over here. So we want something connected from this line here. So let's extrude this point up and out by holding down left control. Let's extend that out so that we have some guidelines to see where we want the frame of the car to go. So let's lower the curvature on these. And again, we'll use left alt. Lower the curvature a wee bit. So that this windshield doesn't need to be so high, such an angle. So I'm going to say about like that. Now what we could do is because this is one line here, this frame, then we have this frame, and we have this frame, all we need to do is connect the top two points here. So again, holding shift, we'll click on this one, click on this one, click on our little blue sausage in between there. We now have a frame, and then our, uh, a wire frame, and we want to build an actual frame inside there. So we'll left shift, left shift, click on that circle. It is now framed. So we can put some curvature on this front windshield area here. To give us a little bit of idea of where we want to move our next pieces, get our angle right. We'll angle these points down a wee bit. And we can bring the rest of our points up here to the same level. Or I guess it could have moved just that individual frame. Maybe we'll have these kind of slope back. So we'll bring that down just a little bit. So now from the top, we've got it in like this. So we can put, we can either grab this individual point and bring it in a wee bit like that, and then add a small curve up here, or we can grab this point and drag it out a little bit. And we can still add a small curve. Like this one here, we can add a small curve on just a little bit, this one here as well. Actually, see, we could curve that in. Got a very aerodynamic curve on there, so it comes in and then curves back out. I think that'll work, let's go with that. So, as you can see, we've got some curve coming down here. We don't want any of that. We want this to actually stay uh, even somewhat straight because this is gonna come down in the back down to where we don't know yet. So let's just extrude these out by holding down control. Extrude those up a bit. And then we'll just connect these points by holding shift and shift. Bang. And then we'll fill in our frame by holding shift again on this frame, this frame, 
fill that in. Close off the back so we can narrow this off a little bit. Make it a little wee bit more aerodynamic. Now let's bend this frame here out a little bit. So we can get some nice curvature on there. And same thing with this. No sense in having straight pieces when we don't have to. So we'll have a little bit of curve like that. We don't have any curve on the back here. But that's okay, actually. We'll keep those straight. And we're going to extrude those out. We'll connect these two points in the back here. So again, shift, boom. When you're on the mirror axis, you just need to hold shift while you click on one, and it'll automatically give you that. It knows that it's trying to select the mirrored side of that object, whatever you're clicking on. So let's fill in this. I guess we don't need to necessarily fill that in, but we do if we want to, well, I can extrude this panel up. Okay, so again, if you're extruding and you already have points like this, you can hold down that control, extrude this up to the same height, and then grab these points. So grab this point here and hover over that point, click, and they'll lock in. So that way you can extrude your separate blocks and that's a way of connecting separate blocks to each other. So once we have something like this, we can simply make a, uh, okay, I mean, we can even extrude this out a little bit. We grab this face and extrude it up a little bit. Grab this bottom frame, extrude up. And we want to make this a little bit level. We're just making basically a fin in the back here, a spoiler. So once we have a basic shape like that, we can extrude this out. So again, we'll hold down control. We're going to extrude that out like that. And again, we want to make it a wee bit thinner than that. It looks a bit blocky. So we'll come under here, we'll grab this frame. Actually, let's just grab this whole frame here underneath. Lift the whole thing up a wee bit to about like that. Now let's put some curves on these, so we'll arch these in. Grab this one in the front, arch that one in a wee bit, bring it back to where we actually want it. Something like that, we can arch these top ones here a bit if we want as well. Again, no need having straight lines when we don't need to. We'll arch those ones. Now, we want the spoiler to actually act as a spoiler, so we want the back side to be a wee bit higher than the front. So we can actually just grab this face here and lower it a wee bit, like that. We'll go a wee bit more, something like that. Now, if we wanted to make this totally thin in the front, we could grab this point here, hook it into that point. Now it's nice and thin there. We can do the same thing here, hook this one in to that one. Now we've got like a triangle wedge. So we'll add a wee bit. Well, I guess we'll go on the back side. Uh, we maybe not even need. We'll just give it a little bit of curve downwards. It's not very thick. It's going to be tough to do. So just a small amount of down curve. Like that. And then we'll actually have to move our, our bottom one down a wee bit as well. So. Kind of like that, we've got a wee bit of an overlap in here, so we'll have to try and find, I think it's, is it that one or this one, this one, yes it's that one, bring that down just a little bit, so we've got a bit of a spoiler like that, this is a little high in the back here, so I would maybe bring that arch down just a little bit, something like that. Build that into the whirlwind space, or sorry, the return key. Ooh, and okay, so you see how the back wheels are cambered in. So what that means, we'll hit B again to go back into build mode. Yeah, we can see it here. So what that means is that at some point I moved the plate that all of this is connected to. So it angled it. So the top came out. So all I need to do is actually grab this bar, move it out like one notch. It should level the wheels. Right click to get out of frame mode. Now the front ones are all kind of wonky. So we'll do the same thing here. Okay, enter. Let's see what that does. It makes it slip over. Backspace will reprint your bot. 
in the original direction that it is facing, not in the direction that your camera is facing, which is weird, I know. So we still have a little bit of a dog tracking or outbound wheels in the back there. Same thing with the front. But it still seems to work pretty good. But again, simple vehicle. With a simple spoiler. So I hope that helps some of you guys with some of the basic building techniques on how to build stuff. Uh, from there, it just comes takes a little bit of pre-planning as far as when you're extruding your pieces. You want to make sure to think ahead of where where your protrusions are going to be from your body and leave yourself some lattice work in there to work with. Uh, don't be afraid to extrude stuff out and then at later on when you're done building, let's say we go back into build mode, because once you're done building, don't worry about having, oh, now there's all these lines all over my vehicle, right? It's like, okay, well, you can just hover over top of this frame and hit the delete key. It does not delete the geometry. It just deletes the frame. So when you're done building, you can come through and remove the frames that you want to. Again, you can leave them in if you want. You can remove the frames, build the car by hinting enter, once you've done that to all the places that you want and you'll actually get a semi-smooth surface without any of those frames in the way. So don't be afraid to use those frames as guidelines and extra pieces to get the curvature and the pieces that you want where you want them. And, uh, and then you can, you're basically unlimited as far as where you want to build. Now with this you could again go into build mode and we didn't even put a top on it or a windshield or anything, right? So you could simply Oh, we see we got rid of the frame from the top here. So if I connect to this point, again, holding shift, and this point. A little sausage thing there. So I can connect this frame to this frame. And then we got our frames back on either side as well. But again, we can always delete those create your frames in between here, in between here, and in between there. Now your dude is going to stick up a little bit so you could go inside here and lower this where your seat is connected. You could lower this plate. So let's try that. We'll lower that a bit. See if we can get our guy to actually disappear inside. So let's try grabbing this whole plate and moving it down. Brings down the body line a little bit more, but that's all right. It still stays at the same shape, so let's build that in by hitting enter. Our guy should be inside. Well, we got a little bit of horns sticking out. But again, we can simply fix that by arching the rooftop a little bit. So we could lift this frame a wee bit. Second one in. Holding alt. Got our little bendy ball. Flex that up. Next one back. Do the same thing there, bring that to a boat like that. That should get rid of whatever was sticking up. Build that into the world by hitting enter. Ooh, adjust the horns. That's all right, that works. But yeah, that's how simple it actually is to build. It can be complicated if you don't understand those simple techniques or tricks to, uh, to building stuff. It seems kind of overwhelming, it was for me at first, but thankfully a few of you viewers Gave me some tips and some tricks as well in the comment section, and uh, it had to help a lot. It was, uh, makes a world of difference in the stress level of trying to build stuff. All right, so I think we're going to leave that one here for now, guys. Hope that helped. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's hope everybody has a better 2021. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.